Hey out there, this is Thursday, July 18th, 2019, and it is just about, uh, about 9.45 in the morning here in Northern California, and as usual, I'll get into a lot of different stuff today. I hope everybody's doing fantastic and uh, enjoying their little human lives. Um... I went to my niece's wedding, as I was talking about in previous videos, um, last uh, Friday, which would be the 11th of July, and uh, it went great, uh, wonderful wedding. Uh, I'll talk more about that a little later, but um, I had a great time, didn't stay long, I guess I was there for oh, less than six hours, but... Um, Nevertheless, it was uh, it was a very enjoyable and memorable six hours. So, um, anyhow, I will uh, discuss that later. I've got that in my uh, talking points that I wanted to review. But you know, I wanted the theme today to be revealing and exposing and pointing out the science of tyranny that has taken over our civilization. Uh, it's the only way I can explain where humanity is at at this point in history. I mean, here we are at the cutting edge of history, 21st century, well into it, about 20%, uh, I guess, into the 21st century. And... Uh, the situation around the world has regressed in terms of social, political, and economic justice. And we all need to ask ourselves why this is, why we can't seem to make any permanent strides in solving the problems that plague humanity. And I want to point out the precise sources the genesis, the causes, the causers, where the juggernaut is, and who doesn't want the status quo to change in favor of the populations of the earth at large, which is just regular, everyday human beings that are trying to enjoy their little lives, that don't seek to be oppressed, but they can't breathe without being oppressed. They can't make a move. It's like a chessboard, and they're the pawns in this game. They have no say-so. They have no voice in. You know, and we talk about politics a lot, but how few people really understand what's going on here. And like I've pointed out in previous videos, that if this was just a problem of Democrat, Republican, or socialist, capitalist, or liberal, conservative, I'd tell you, I've got no motivation. I've got no ulterior motive not to tell you because I'm trying to be a friend to humanity. I'm trying to be God's friend. I'm trying to be a good brother to humanity. And above all, I simply want to be happy because I'm a selfish man. And I have realized in seeking to be happy, knowing that is a cherished American value, this right, and rights and responsibilities uh, are very close in relationship. So when you have a right that you don't exercise, you are remiss in your responsibility in seeking that right, in, in trying to exercise that right. And I've realized that in order to be happy, it's not the kind of thing I can go alone. Like wise people have said in the past, no man is an island unto himself, and of course I am no exception, and neither are you. We've got to go this thing together as a family because this is the only way we can please our owner, which, of course, is God Almighty. 
And this owner, this God Almighty, is the grantor of happiness. So we realize that ultimately we must please God. And so we need to find ways to do that. We need to care about our fellow human beings. This is how we show that we love our fellow human beings. And this is what we do when we love ourselves, when we care about ourselves, when we seek to find true, permanent, not only lasting, but permanent happiness in a wholly corrupt realm. And that realm is human civilization on planet Earth in the 21st century. We're a mess. We're in a lot of trouble and we need big help. Okay, and I want to point out first and foremost, if you haven't noticed, how we're in trouble. The wealth imbalance. People say, oh, well, that's been going on forever. The rich get richer and the poor get poor. Well, it hasn't. If you look at history, there's been periods when tyrants, authoritarians, totalitarians, fascists came down hard on their populations. And what you finally had eventually was a bloody revolution. This has happened over and over in history. History is replete with these stories. And then people will tell you, well, yeah, history is cyclical. It, uh, it repeats itself. Well, I don't go that far to say that it repeats itself, but I will say there's similarities for sure. But, of course, I believe that time is linear, that there is no, there's no, each day is, is a, as a unique as, every day has been since the beginning of creation, since the dawn of time. And as such, today is no exception. And the distinction between this day and any other time in history is that knowledge is at a point where, of course, it's never been before because it keeps accumulating. And the availability of that knowledge is unprecedented. It's literally at everybody's fingertips with their smartphones and their laptops, etc. Smart pads, right? So we're all without excuse for choosing ignorance. But people do have their reasons for vying a path of willful ignorance because we've all heard the term and to a, to a degree we must agree that ignorance is bliss that sometimes it's just easier not knowing I don't want to know because if I know then I have to share the responsibility okay it's just like somebody telling you a secret well some people say well I don't want to know because uh, I'm going to blab and I don't keep secrets well and, and uh, you know, that's, that's a responsibility I don't want. So just don't tell me if you've got something dark and twisted. I don't want to know. Well, we may all understand this and understand the psychology behind it, how this would appear to be the path of least resistance. It's going with the flow, the status quo. Just don't rock the boat. Accept things on face value and be logical is what they'll tell you. Be pragmatic. Have some common sense. Be practical. Prescribe to the status quo and the current establishment and the trajectory we're on. So accept it and say to yourself, well, there must be a rhyme and a reason because this is the state of affairs. And while that's all true, it is just the way it is the status quo and the establishment, but it's wholly corrupt. You understand that the paradigm, the reality we're all forced to experience from birth is rife with fraud and misgivings and deceit and delusion. And we're all subject to get our share, not to mention what we're up against just on a very personal individual level in contending with this mess, with our own frailties, with our own issues, with our own sinful nature, 
and being born into a very dangerous world, just organically speaking. It's a very tough road to hoe, just being a human being and surviving. And then you try to add, you know, being happy on top of surviving. Well, I mean, you know, just surviving, we, we, we agree, is, that's good enough. I mean, if you've got potable water to drink, if you've got food to eat, if you've got a roof over your head, if some semblance of your energy needs are being met, then you should just shut up and be happy. I mean, that's it. That's, you know, just do whatever you're called on to do by the establishment and go with that flow and accept your lot. And if your lot just keeps getting harder and harder, if the bar to survive just keeps getting higher and higher and more out of reach, if the nut you need to crack to survive just gets harder and harder and harder, well, then use your God-given intelligence, the wherewithal that you have to figure out how to continue to survive. So this is social Darwinism writ large, really. And that's the scenario we have. It's dog eat dog. It's rat race. It's not survival of the strongest. It's survival of the most cutthroat often, the most aggressive. And they get all the accolades and kudos out there because, hey, I'm successful as defined by the world, by the secular definition of success. It's a very narrow interpretation, translation, definition, meaning of success that the world hands us. And it's all about money. It's all about fortune, right? This is it. It's you and you're on your own and you're responsible for yourself and uh, and uh, you know it's about being strong and smart and teaching others by example and finding your own path to attaining a real solid sense of freedom and sense of security and it's all about money in this world it's measured by money that's it and I propose, I strongly contend that this is fallacious. It's on its face, it's madness.